Hey y'all, this is Crookalicious checking in with another episode of the Red Wars mod, and I'm super excited to bring it to you. Well, I sh I wish I had some sad music right now. Probably won't be uh, editing that in. But the reason why is John George Crook. He only has four men in addition to him. That's pretty sad. And I think, I don't know if we lost many of our companions, um, but we did lose some. And it's just us five right now. <laughs> so, if you didn't, if you want to know what happens uh, last uh, episode to get to where we're at right now, please check out the last episode. Um, man, it was, yeah, it, it was stupid. i just put it that way. But, anyways, let's uh, head south right now. So, one thing to note in this is when we look at our factions and we go to the one that we are... Uh, oh, our allegiance too. We just barely made a truce with the Nords right after they took out Tier, and that was frustrating. But whatever. We are done now. My allies were idiots. It was great. But we can recruit some men up here, and we need to be mindful of bandits because man, bandits are definitely gonna try to take us for some pickings. Now we actually have some size. Really didn't do a whole lot for that size, but that's okay. Oh, we barely recruited them just outside the window of... Oh, never mind. We got the training. So we recruited them right before the training occurred. So perfect. Um, I'll do 50-50-ish. I know it's not exact 50-50. I mean, it's really hard to do 50-50 with 7. That's okay. Our goal is to build up our army. I'm okay with getting some Nordic units. I feel like they seem pretty good, except for those melee units that carry the flag. Um, which, did I actually recruit some of those? He has a gun, so I think we're good there. But anyways, we got a lot more men now. Very quickly. And I'm just frustrated about last <laughs> last episode with what happened, man. That was, that was nuts. And... I feel like it was pretty stupid, but that's okay. I'm not going to complain too much, because if I do, then nobody's going to want to ever watch me again. Which, by the way, I just want to say thank you guys so much for um, all that you've done, man. So, two more subscribers from now, and I will have reached the milestone of 900 subscribers, which is amazing. That means a 1,000 is in sight. It's actually a possibility. Um, I remember thinking back when there was only like 30 subscribers like a year ago that man it'd be crazy to hit a thousand um, and it's right at the doorstep so anyways I just want to say thank you guys and I appreciate all your efforts and care and your support because a lot of you guys have been very supportive of my channel and I really appreciate that are some of my videos kinda eh, yeah are some of them okay yeah and some of them good yeah but anyways, I'm trying to make them better. Um, not perfect with it, uh, to say the least. <laughs> it's it's kind of it can have some of its difficulties, man. Because sometimes life just gets really hard and um, really busy, and so that kind of carries over onto your gameplay. And man, is that interesting? Okay, I think that's good for right now because if I get bigger, my morale is just gonna probably drop. Um, which something I really do not want to have happen. So let's uh, level up all these people that we can. Um, let's do 50-50 again. Or close to. Oh dang it, I accidentally pushed control. Alright, hey Jarl, we can level you up. How are you doing? Morale is 49. Okay. Either way, we'll, we'll boost your morale, like, boost up everything. Um, I'm gonna give you charisma. I don't know if that helps you with anything, but every point increased maximum. I'm gonna do that. I don't know if it actually impacts my experience. Oh, like my party's experience and happiness and joy and morale and everything that's important in this life. But I'm gonna do that. Okay, now let's go back to the capital, New Yalen. Um, we have to wait for war again, which I really dislike, but that's okay. 
So we got a, a mercenary cavalry and a wandering scald. And a tavern keeper. You know, let's let's learn something. Yes, teach me that one. Okay, I think that's what should we what we should do in the meantime is see if we can court some lady into our life. Of course, I don't know if there is many women in this. Oh, okay. I was like, what just happened? Yeah, I don't know if there is a lot of women to court in this game. Um, we have no items outside the ones that we had before. I'm going to move all this up. I love how that's Swazi Kraut. Um, kind of like sauerkraut, but not. It was, it's just it's funny to me. Alright, let's, uh, let's get some more bread. Why not? It's probably more expensive here, but that's A-OK. -okay. Now let's go find a lady to court. What towns do we have? Let's go to Linden and see if we can court somebody there. And just to make sure that we're not at war with anybody, real quick um, I'm gonna go to factions I'm gonna go to ours um, and see no outstanding issues with everybody and a truce for 36 days with the Nords well that's frustrating um, well, it's sounding true that the faction that wants to represent the United States at this time wanted to play neutral. The United States did want to play neutral a lot during World War One and World War Two, um, kind of the hands-off approach. But we'll pro provide ammunitions and everything to the people that we we like more. <laughs> so, anyway, just interesting how that works. Do I have anybody that can sell? Probably not, because I was captured. Party officer. You guys are expensive. And a traveler. Oh, I guess I could see if I could look for all my companions. That would be good since we're at peace right now. We can go and find you guys. Yeah. Okay. I might need a, some way to record this information because knowing me. Well, the video, I guess, is record enough. So, we'll, we'll spend our time for the next few times searching for companions. So, let's go for Luciano. Still love your name, dude. Okay, so he is currently near Swaz... Swaz... Yeah, I, I, yeah. yeah. Let's not worry too much about pronunciation. <clears throat> Okay, we'll go for Luciana first, but for the rest, I'm actually just going to go through and do this. And I'll probably have to check through the video again to um, see where on earth they're at. Nick Seto, Praven, oh, whoops. And then Hararo. Okay, so that's our quest is to search for our lost companions and court a lady. Awesome. <laughs> Alright, so let's go for Luciano first because he was on the top of the list. That's the only prejudice I'm giving right now. Um, no! Okay. Well, I'm guessing it will be over here. We actually have to look for this guy, so... But it's going to be one of the major towns, which makes it a lot easier. So let's uh, head on over there. We have to go to the lands where people hate me, but that's okay because guess what? We are in with a faction who actually cares about us and will protect us and watch war breaks out while we're back there. And that's going to happen, I know it. Okay. Oh no. Okay, I thought I got stuck there for a second. I was like, this is not good, guys. Uh, just a little FYI. 
Looks like they are way in way, ways to the Reich. All right, let's uh, go into the tavern and let's see if Luciano's there. Hey, Luciano. Yeah, that's right. I think Luciano, you're the one that are telling me that when we were companions, um, you got knocked out or something, and you're captured and you're taken away from the co our company. So, anyways, we got you back. Oh, yeah. Alright. No. No, forget you guys. Alright, let's go to the city hall and see if there's any ladies to court. We got Lady Bella. Oh, uh, let's see here. May have the honor in knowing more about my lady. Mother. Okay, so she's already married. <laughs> hey, we found a lady though, so I guess that's a that's a step. Okay, now I remember some of the other towns where our companions were at. Man, I hate fillers when we don't have war going on. Okay, there's one right up here. I can't remember exactly which one was in that town. Um, I remember there's something with Easton. I think it was Easton. Easton down here. So that's completely opposite directions, but it's a little bit closer. I don't remember where anybody else was. So let's head down to Easton then, and we'll help drop by Harper City on the way too. Alright, and while we're heading down there, let's level up everybody that we can. Let's get some sharpshooters and lieutenants. Um, get all but... Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I just, I feel like I cannot pronounce things worth anything today, guys. So, <laughs> I'm just not even going to attempt it too much. Um, our party morale is excellent. I'm going to keep it that way because then we can actually keep our companions. Um, one thing I need to change with you, Luciano, is your helmet. Um, Alright, sure. Let's go to the feast. New Yal Yalen. Good thing we're like right next to it. And maybe we can get some quests, but man, I want war. I'm a warmonger. Because that's what actually makes this game kind of exciting. Um, I know. Okay, let's go join the feast real quick. Okay. I want to jump on the table. You know, make my presence known. Alright. Um, do you have a task for me? Nope. My relation did not improve that I saw. I mean, I probably might not have been paying attention. Okay, so everybody's heard that I've lost in battle. Well, if you guys would have flip and help me out you know maybe things will be a little bit better just kidding well actually not really if they would have helped me out then we would have won that battle well this is the reason why I find feast very boring your relation with General Fernand has deteriorated Whatever, General Fernand. Which, by the way, he is an actual character from that time period. Um, I'll do that only because uh, it's worth doing something, right? Okay, but anyways... Um, Ferdinand was a general, not in the United States Army though, he was actually a general, oh my goodness, I can't remember the, all the details, but look him up, I think he was for Austria-Hungary, um, that sounds correct, I could be wrong, but just a little key figure in history, um, but I can't remember much of the details right now. Um, one place that you can check out that's actually really good to learn a little bit more about World War One history is the Great War channel on YouTube. 
um, has about 300,000 subscribers, and they go week to week, all the events that happened 100 years ago this week. Really cool. So check them out. They also talk about famous people and battles and um, famous people that have roles in World War One. So I think that's a really cool place to go check out. In the meantime, let's go down to Easton. I think it was Easton. Okay, I think our party's starting to get a little bit bigger to the point where we need to be mindful of any more advancements. This guy doesn't look like he has any guns, so let's avoid getting those guys. Alright, uh, where, where is Easton at? Nordland. I'm going the wrong direction, alright. Yeah, I'm going the wrong direction. Alright, let's go to Harper. We have so much men, but we just don't want to go to war. Traveler, party officer. Um, let's redo this then. Okay, he's still there. Oh wait, duh. I'm not in Easton. Oh my goodness. I keep losing Easton. Um, real quick, let's see if there's any ladies at court here. Nobody. Okay. Generally, I would say they'd probably go back to the feast, so... They might be gone by the time we even get back to the feast. But we're gonna find you. Okay, let's go to the city hall. Wait, nobody's gonna be in the city hall. Okay, let's go to the tavern, and there we are, awesome Lena. <laughs> I was taken and held for ransom. I did not know whether you have been captured or slain. Or got away. I've been roaming around since looking for you. Shall I get my gear together and rejoin your company? Welcome back. Okay, I've got you, awesome Lena. We've got another traveler and a crazy looking militia guy. Okay, so I'm just going to pay a little bit of money just to see where the remainders are. Praven and Horaro, you are at Durham. It's perfect. Hey, we are going to find all the companions then. That's going to be pretty easy. So we got Durham, we got Praven, Durham's up here, and then we got all the way up here. Almorad. I think that was pronounced pretty close. If not, well. So be it. Man, the workers' party, whatever they're called, are completely owning the Reich right now. Oh, there's some bandits. I doubt I'll be able to catch them, but I do want a battle of some kind. This is making me want to break away from the Confederate States of Balan and take my own course and take revenge against the Reich. But yeah, they're getting owned by the Workers' Party. The Roducian Nationalist Workers' Party. Okay, how's our morale? Excellent. Perfect. I'm going to keep it at this level because I... Yeah, let's get one cavalry unit or something like that. Oh yeah, let's move you guys up, Luciano. And Awesome Lena. Welcome back to the company. Let's split it 50 50-ish. Probably went a little bit past 50. Okay. There we go. We got a pretty expert army, so I'm happy about that. Nice! Deserters! 4.7. Let's see if we can catch them. 4.6. Uh, maybe. Yeah, we caught him. But it's nighttime, darn it. I don't like nighttime battles. 
in the mountainside either. Okay. It looks like we have unarmed troops. Which is not my liking. Let's put everybody right here. Let's put my one arm over there actually. We actually lost somebody. Actually, let's have my ones charged then. Actually, no, you know what? That's actually a stupid idea. Let's actually put you guys right over there. I don't want you to charge. Alright, it's starting to get a little loud. Shane Metals is leveled up. Good job, good sir. I think we're actually taking them out pretty well right now, so I'm not too concerned. Um, I might want to be nervous though about advancing on them. I'm missing like none other right now. Hey, somebody kill him. Yeah, I finally got killed. Yeah. Another kill. Oh, I actually hit him. Okay, let's have cavalry charge. Let's have everyone charge for that matter. Yeah, he's gonna get away. That's okay. We've lost five men in battle. Yeah! I love how mixed my army is. Which actually did happen a little bit, guys. Just FYI. Um, they can go up to Simple Mercenary. I don't want to recruit too many of them. I'll probably just do three. Um, but yeah, did you know that, that some armies were kind of mixed a little bit in World War One? Not a lot. I mean, some units were sent to other factions, uh, like help them out other nations. So like French soldiers fought in Russia for Russia. Um, Germany fought with Austrian Hungarian Hungarians down in Austria. Of course, most of that was directed by Germany. But anyways, just thought I'd let you guys know that it's actually really cool to learn about World War One and the dynamics and stuff that they did have mixed units, which makes sense because I mean there's allies, Axis, and they're fighting for the same purpose. And anyways, just kind of a cool little foresight. Of course, these um, factions did not fight much together. Uh, anyways, Shane Meadows, you have leveled up. These guys had swords and boots. No guns to give me. Lame. Anyways, back to Praven. So that we can go and rescue. I can't remember who's in Praven, but somebody is. I'll level up everybody when we get there. I'm I'm ready to just get there. Alright, what's what's this? Deserters. We could go fight more deserters. I think it just helps with leveling up my men, and it, it's something to do in the meantime. But they are really fast in comparison to me, so... I don't know if we'll be able to catch them. Four point 4.9. We'd have a better chance with the looters. Uh, everybody man I love this rifle that I have right here okay everybody just post up right here we'll have my unarmed men go over there same with my cavalry over there somewhere okay nice gotta hit him Got another shot in actually too. This is more just target practice, if you can hear me. I feel like this is really loud. And that's it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. No casualties. But we got a lot more from them than from that larger party of deserters. Of course, some of that's wooden sticks, which... Yeah. Alright, let's not worry about those guys. Um, let's go over to Praven before it gets captured or besieged, because it looks like it's kind of... close to that. So, uh, let's go into the tavern real quick. And there is Nick. Hey, Nick. How are you doing? 
So we got Nick back. I feel like we don't get any... Uh... Wait, do we have any companions? Oh, yeah, okay, I was like, I wasn't sure if we had any that were ransomed, so. Um, let's sell all this stuff, because honestly, it's really not that... Yeah. It'll help make back some money. And we'll get some grain while we're at it. Okay, um, let's visit the city hall and see if there's any ladies here that we can uh, court. I don't look familiar. Oh, great. Um, let me see here. I'm the daughter of such and such, such of such and such, wife of. Dang it. Cap uh, Fear. Yeah. Daughter to Lady Cat. What? You have a lot of family history right there. You have tried to negotiate his ransom, but it has been set too high. We can never hope to raise that much money without selling everything we own. Um, I came up with a plan to get him out of there, but it requires someone to make a great sacrifice. And so far, my pleas have fallen on death ears. You know, I think it would be fun to do, don't get me wrong, but she's already a married woman, so... Building my relation with her doesn't change much of anything. At least I, I, I don't think. Yep. Alright. And I'm guessing you're taken to... Every... I think all the ladies in this game are probably um, taken. Alright, wrong way. Okay, we got two more companions to find. So let's head north to Durham. Man, the Reich is like falling apart. Okay, let's get back to our party, see what's going on around us. <laughs> that force bandit unit is going way fast in comparison to me. 4.5, let's, let's go fight another group of force bandits, why not, right? Alright, they're just a little bit faster than we are, but that's okay, we got up them. Let's just stay right here, guys. Let them come to us. Okay, cavalry-wise, our only two cavalry units. I'm going to put off way over there. That might not be a smart idea. Let's put you guys over there. Okay. Oh, yeah, we got Nick Seto in that one. He's part of our cavalry unit, our very small fishing cavalry unit. Okay, here they come. Right for me. Yeah, these are like authentic World War I um, machine guns that they have right there. Alright, they're not allowing me to fall back, so that's okay. Dang it! Dang this! Man, I have that really loud on my headphones. I could not hear myself even speak, so... I turned it down a little bit. I was gonna try to, you know, act like uh, Old Brother where I go, where it's like, Take that! <laughs> I hate cows more than coppers! Okay, they're going right for my cow members, so let's move them. They actually took out one of my cow members. Are those guys routing? No, they're not. 
I think it's just Nick. Nick, you made it out alive. Wait, what happened to my other cavalry member, dude? Oh, is he not part of the cavalry? Oh, that's good. All right, whatever. Yeah, they're. I can't even see them yet, so everybody's just gonna be taking them out. Okay, let's uh, have everybody charge in then. Cause it looks like a lot of those guys are just routing. There they are. Nice! Did you see that? I wasn't even paying attention. I got a headshot. Oh, that was sweet. Of course, now I can't hit this guy with anything. Nice. Okay, we took him out. Two got away, but that's okay. I don't really care. Okay, we won that battle. Can hire peasant women. Okay, let's grab these. All this stuff right here. I mean, why not? It adds a little bit of money into our revenue. All right, we're right by Durham. Okay, let's go to the tavern and find one of our few remaining companions. Hey, Hararo, welcome back. All right, we have it going for us. Uh, let's go to the city hall and see if there's any ladies here. I think the hats might mean that they're married, but I doubt that. Yep. If you're a mom to somebody who's older, you're older. Good morning. Of course, it's plan I make your acquaintance. Okay. All right. Hey, there's somebody else. Hey, this is like the only person who is not... <laughs> wow. Okay, well that went, that went really smooth. Well, that was that was really smooth. <laughs> anyways, guys, I'm probably gonna call it here. Um, haven't been recording for a good amount of time, so anyways, hopefully, you guys have enjoyed this episode. Um, not a lot of action in terms of mil like factions and other things fighting. Well, my faction wanted to fight anybody, but we've had some fun. So, anyways, hopefully, you have enjoyed. If you have, feel free to give this episode a thumbs up. And I hope to see you guys next time. And this is Crookalicious. Check it out.